sometimes people say things like, oh, prayer was really, really good. And then you might be sitting there thinking, what is that like? Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. How can I tell if my prayer is good prayer? Here's what I would say. Number one, did you show up? I can't have good prayer if, I didn't, if I'm not there. Okay, obviously. But sometimes the only thing that you could say about your prayer was, I showed up. And because <laughs> that's the part we can control, right? We can control, well, there's some other things. We'll talk about that in number two and number four. But there's an aspect of, okay, I can't control what's going to happen in my prayer. I can't control the, the graces God is going to give or, or withhold. But I can show up. And so I would say this. If you showed up, that's good prayer. That, that's the most basic, most basic kind of criterion, most basic metric to meet. Now, the second one is this. Okay. Okay. First one is, were you there? The second one is, were you there? You know what I mean? When I say like, sometimes we're, we're in the room, but we're not in the room. You know what I mean? We're physically present, but we're not, we're, but we're mentally absent. It's not just any kind of distraction, but are there intentional distractions. Now, these intentional distractions can be internal and they can be external. This comes from my prayer. I, I have to tell you, um, there are times, well, I, I know this. I, I kind of have a schedule and so I almost always show up. Like I'm almost always number one. Like, yep, that's there. I'm here. But there are times, and I have to say this, there are times when I get, when I get to the end of that prayer time and I realize, oh my goodness, I just spent a significant portion of that time or even a small portion, maybe the whole thing. I don't know distracting myself. I know that I can distract myself at times from with my phone. Like there's, oh, you know, I just had a thought. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text that person. Or I just had a, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, okay, did, what did Jesus mean in Matthew chapter whatever when he said this? Like, let me just look that up. And those things aren't necessarily bad. But what I find myself doing is, okay, after I got this answer, I kind of like linger, you know what I mean? Where I'm either still on my phone or I'm just like, oh, this person just texted. I'll get back to them too. And all of a sudden, I realized that, okay, I've allowed in some intentional distractions. Now, sometimes those are distractions, as I just said, like looking something up or sometimes the distraction of, um, you know, responding to someone or reaching out to somebody. But I've found this. I've found that there are times when the Lord wants me to simply be uh, quiet. Where the Lord simply wants me to like put things down and take things out of my ears. And, and I can even be listening to scripture. I can even be listening to prayers. I can even be listening to something that actually normally would be really, really good. But in that moment, it's really clear that what God's asking me to do is just, hey, take those things out of your ears, put the phone down, even if you're reading scripture, and just be present to me. Now, obviously, this keep this in mind. Obviously, when we're listening to scripture or reading scripture, yeah, we can be present to God. That's that can be great, great prayer. What I'm talking about is when I know, I know very, very clearly that, oh, this is not the time for that. He might point out to me that I've been hiding behind the book. I've been hiding um, in even in his own word. And he wants me to just put it down. And just enter into the silence and be present to him in that moment. So the first question, did I show up? The second question, am I there? The third metric or third kind of question is um, non-intentional or unintentional distractions. Now, we've talked, we've had other videos about distractions and prayer before. And so I just want to keep this in mind. Those are not your fault. But it is helpful. It is helpful to be at least attentive to when they happen. And then be able to bring yourself back to prayer. I mean, same thing with the intentional distractions. The unintentional distraction of the person who also who's happens to be in the church or wherever it is you're praying or the unintentional internal distraction. Like you're not trying to think about something else, but you just kind of, our, our minds are always working. They're always moving and therefore they're going to move off target sometimes. That's just what's going to happen. Now, these unintentional distractions, this is the, the method that I think St. Therese of Lisieux, St. Teresa of Avila, these incredible saints said, they said, okay, just when you just, you have to simply notice or recognize, oh, I'm distracted. And then gently, gently and patiently, be gentle with yourself. Gently bring your attention back to focus on the Lord. Or if you're reading the Bible, if you're reading a holy book or whatever it was, just gently bring your attention back to that thing. If you're called into silence, gently bring your attention back to that silence, your attentiveness and attention, you know, focus back to the Lord. It's one of the metrics because I might unintentionally allow myself to be distracted the entire prayer time. And so it's just like, that's it. So like, yep, no, I was distracted a lot, but I gently, I noticed it and I gently brought myself back.
And I think it was St. Therese who said something along the lines of, if you have to do that a thousand times during your prayer time, simply a thousand times, be gentle with yourself and patiently bring your attention back to the Lord. That can still be good prayer. Now, the fourth, so at the end of every holy hour, I say the exact same thing. I say, um, before you leave, I invite you to write down one thing from this morning prayer that you want to carry with you into the rest of the day. These are our students. These are our missionaries. We, we have holy hour every single morning. And I say it every single morning because I think we need to be reminded every single morning because or else we can just kind of get with that, done with that prayer and be like, okay, that was nice or that was tough. But if we stop and then write down, okay, what's one thing from this morning prayer that I want to carry with me into the rest of the day? It can be, okay, here was a struggle that I was, I was really wrestling with in prayer. Or it could be, here was a great thing I was really, I, I had insight into in prayer. Or here was, you know, the God's grace was present in this other way in prayer. To capture that somehow means that you can go and look back on your prayer and say, okay, I was there, I showed up, and I was focused. I mean, maybe not for the whole entire time, but I kind of battled through distractions, gently battled through distractions. And then, yeah, this is how the Lord moved in my heart. And I have it captured. I have it written down. The great thing about this is not just the capturing, not just the fact that it's written down, but it's the fact that I have to, at some level, before I leave, I have to, at some level, say, okay, God, what just happened? Like, this, what, what was that? What was that, essentially? And I have to ask that question that sometimes we can just say, yep, no, I, I put my time in and uh, we'll see you later, Lord. As opposed to, okay, Lord, here I was present. Okay, I was reading this in your, in your word or I was reflecting on this in your presence. And here's what I want to take away. Here's what you revealed to me about your heart. Here's what insight you gave me. Or even, again, as I said, here's the struggle that was there this morning. You know, I, I could hardly stay awake and so I just rested. Or, or whatever the thing is. You know what I'm saying? That's why whenever someone says, I had really good prayer today or I had really bad prayer today, you and I, we all can say, okay, what does that look like? Bad prayer would be the kind of prayer I don't show up for or I show up for and I am intentionally distracting myself, or I'm unintentionally distracted, but I don't gently bring myself back, or I get done with the end of that time and I just move on to the rest of the day. Good prayer is prayer where you show up, you're there, even in the midst of distractions, you gently bring yourself back to focus on the Lord, and you can say, this, this, I can point to this and say, this is one little nugget that I wanna carry with me for the rest of the day. I tell you this, if we do that on a regular basis, we're going to have good prayer. Remember this, you're not alone. Prayer is not the work of man. Prayer is the cooperation of man with God's divine, Holy Spirit-led, inspired, directed, and powered work. God is the one who moves in our hearts. So just show up, fight those distractions, gently fight those distractions, and then ask, God, where were you? Write it down. Anyways, from all of us here to present, my name is Father Mike. God bless.